And now over to Mark in the Mastercraft Kitchen. And you've been inspired by our guest Nikki Pellegrino today. Mark, what are you serving up? Yeah, I've been inspired and we're going to do slow braised lamb with tomatoes and red wine. Uh, we've got lots of fresh herbs and uh, ricotta and parmesan in there. It's going to be great. We're going to put it all in the pressure cooker. We're going to show you how to use this piece of equipment safely. And uh, we're going to come back a little bit later and I'll show you how to do it. The talented international author Nikki Pellegrino talks about her inspiration for her new book Under Italian Sky soon. First though, Mike is getting his Italian on. Grazie Mel. Sono in divinere, Sosina della pasta. Um, that probably wasn't the best Italian. Uh, Nikki, uh, how was that? All right? I think you might have asked the way to the nearest toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can barely speak English, so <laughs> I'll take it. Thank you. We're going to look forward to catching up with her very soon. And you've been inspired by Nikki. Um, the smell yeah. coming from this kitchen today is incredible. What have you got going on? Well, so first of all, for this recipe, we need to brown the lamb. So you can see the lamb there. We're going to get some nice colour, and that's going to give us some flavour. There's a little bit of rosemary in there and fennel seeds as well. So it's very Italian. Nice. And you can smell it all roasting. And how, what's the best way to get your lamb brown? Um, hot pan. Right. <laughs> <laughs> No, a heavy, heavy base pan, so it'll keep the heat, get right. it nice and hot, and then put the lamb in and just keep sort of, not stirring it every sort of like 20, 30 seconds, you know, let it colour, then stir it. Rightio, Mr. Clever, what else are we going to add in there? <laughs> right, so once you got to this stage now, we're just going to put the vegetables in. So we've got the onions and the celery, so just nicely chopped. So this is going to be a ragu. Right. So basically, we're just going to slow cook it so the lamb's really tender. It's just going to fall apart. So we want the vegetables nice and small. It's mm. just going to be, it's, it's almost going to be a rustic sort of thick sauce. It's going to be fantastic with the uh, pappardelle. And, um, you know, you do a lot of cooking. Is, is Italian one of your favourite type of dishes? Uh, pizzas. Yeah. Pizza. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I like, yeah, yeah all, all sort of European food, like I really like. Uh, definitely, there's some great dishes from Italy. Uh, I've never been to Italy, though. I'd like to go one day, if anyone wants to take me. <laughs> I think that's a hint. <laughs> um, well, maybe we can see you there if you do a good job of this. Go <laughs> yeah. cook it in Italy. Um, so you've added the onions. So celery. onion, celery, a little bit of garlic in there as well. Yep. Uh, and then we've just got some red pepper as well, just for an extra texture and flavour. So okay. just going to pop those in. So nice and uh, thin strands, so there's, you know, it'll give us a bit of texture through the, uh, the later stages. And all we're doing now is just sort of Put it on a medium heat and we just want to sweat those vegetables. We've got the colour on the meat, we've got that flavour out and we just want to bring the sweetness out of the vegetables. Nice work. OK, and we've got quite a lot going on over here on yeah. this big tray. So what but, are we going to take But the beauty of this dish is we're, we're going to cook it all in one pan and you, if you haven't got a pressure cooker at home, you can just do it in a, you know, in a crock pot, um, pop it in a really sort of heavy base pan with a lid in the oven. Okay. It'll take about sort of three hours. You want to cook it like a long time, nice and slow to get all those flavours. But if you do it in a pressure cooker, it'll only take you about an hour. So these are great. Good tip. Speeds up the whole process. Yeah, we like that. Now, you were um, a fan of The Bachelor, Mark. Got you there in the end, didn't uh, I? Yeah, yeah. I uh, definitely watched it. Pretty interesting. And let's ask him, were you Team Naz or Team Fleur? Oh, we were having a bet at home, me and the missus. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we were sort of divided, but I, I picked Fleur. I won. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good, OK, well, you got that right. Um, hopefully we'll get them in here to cook in the kitchen. They'll probably be better help than me. Yeah, they might kill each other. I'll be happy before it started if you cook in the kitchen. Right, so we've got the red wine in there. Right, red wine's in. Yeah. Just got a tin of crushed tomatoes as well. Mm-hmm. And just some fresh tomatoes as well, just sort of roughly chopped, because okay. they're going to break down, because there's a lot of water content in the tomatoes. Nice work. And that'll just give us an extra bit of freshness. What's the best flavour of red wine, actually? Because in, you know, in, the, in the cupboard, I've usually got a Shiraz, and sometimes I've got um, the Pinot. Uh, what's the best one? Well, whatever you've got open. Doesn't matter? Oh, yeah, uh, whatever well, well whatever you want to drink, because you use about you know, 200 mils in here, right, and you can and drink the rest. The rest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're just going to pop that? a little bit of chicken stock in there as well. Okay. And then pretty much just bring that to the boil. We're going to click the lid on, bring it back up again, turn it down, and it's just going to cook for about an hour. OK. And, and then we'll come back a bit later, and then that's going to all be cooked. And I'm going to show you how to finish this dish. And if we don't have a pressure cooker at home, just over that again one more time. So same again, bring it up to the boil, put a lid on it, turn it down nice and low, and cook it for about sort of three hours. Nice work. Fine, yeah. OK, well, I can't wait because I am starving. So we'll come back very soon, see the finished product. So we're nearly finished now. So we just cooked the pasta. So we want to cook it al dente for our Italian friends. So that means just um, to the bites. So we still want some texture on there. So if you just sort of, you know, follow the instructions, but take it out like a minute or so before the instructions come, uh, just taste it, bite it. And you just want a little bite there. It doesn't want to be raw and crunchy, just a little bite. So I've just drained it. Just going to pop a little, little knob of butter on there. 
just to sort of glaze it around. And then we'll check our lamb. So the whole thing with the pressure cooker is don't open it when it's under pressure. Okay, so once you've been cooking it, you've got this little switch here and you want to just click it over and that will slowly release the pressure. And then you can open it and get into it. Again, don't open it when it's under pressure. Right, so we've got our lamb here so you can see it. Beautiful, it's all braised down. I'm going to pop the pasta in. Give it a nice stir around. And get it on the plate. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That Get looks incredible. As well. Just bring it over. Go. A little bit of mint. Yum. Bring it over. Oh, yum. Hey, Nikki, why don't you come over and try the Italian? Yum. Right. Let's go. What's the verdict?